In this video, I'm going to show you how to become really good and efficient at solving the types of viral maths puzzles uh, like the one we have here. Now, if you want to pause the video and have a go first, very welcome to, um, so do so now. And don't forget, if you're enjoying my videos, please do, do like and subscribe. It helps others to find me. Okay, so let's dive in. We've got the first um, equation at the top. Now, this is why these puzzles are very popular, very enticing, because they look so simple, and they are to, to begin with, okay? Many people can cope with this. Most people can cope with this. Um, we've got three identical plants equal to 45, and most people can divide 45 by three and get 15, okay? So each one of these plants is worth 15, okay? And we've going, then got another plant here, which looks identical. Yep, pretty sure it's identical. And we need to make it up to 19. We've got two of these identical pictures here. So the difference between 19 and 15 is 4 divided by 2. So each one of these must be 2. Okay. Now, by this point, most people completing this puzzle will be feeling really good. Okay. Their confidence will be high. And this is where the first pitfall is usually missed. Because people are feeling so good and confident in their ability to solve, um, they will miss the fact that Okay, we've got this new uh, picture here. They look identical, straightforward, but they'll no they'll not notice that perhaps this sign is perhaps not quite the same as the one above. Okay, can you see what's lurking? Something is lurking behind. It looks like another pot. Okay, so a lot of people would say, okay, there's two and these are fifteen each. Wrong. Okay, there's actually three pots. So once we take two away from the thirty-two, we're left with thirty. Divide by three. Each one of these pots is worth. 10. Okay, and again, there's your next chance to, to miss, to not be observant enough here because uh, we've got one put is 10, the value is 10, and here we've got, actually got, have we got one put? No, we haven't. We've got two pots. So this is 20. And have we got just one sign? No, again, we've got two of them. So this is four. Okay, and you know, please be very, very careful here. Look at this. Don't jump in and think it's 15. It's not. For a start, it's got more leaves. How many leaves has it got? Well, it's actually got 21 leaves. Okay. This one's got 15 leaves. Um, but the other thing that is different about this one is, I hope you've realized as well, that it's missing its pot. There's no pot at the bottom. Okay. So let's just, just dive in. Let's just go analyze this first picture and see what's going on. We now know the pot's worth 10. So the 15 leaves are worth 5, which means that 15 divided by 3 gets us to 5, a value of 5. This one's got 21 leaves, so if we divide that by 3, we get 7. Okay, it's easy to trip up there. That's, that's quite, quite tricky, okay? But we have to compare with what's above all the time. All right, so um, at this point now, many of these puzzles actually, um, I'll just cross that out. Okay, many of these puzzles um, will then have um, a plus here and a multiply here. Remember your order of operations. We always do multiply first, followed by addition and subtraction. So if your multiply is here, we have to multiply first and then add whatever's here. That's common. In this particular one, we do actually have the multiply first. So let's do that. Seven times four. Seven times four is 28. And then we add 20 and we get the answer of 48, okay? So hopefully that's that's identified, that, that's, that's highlighted to you. Um, many of the, the common pitfalls, just be observant and use your order of operations.